great hearing your talk. I apologize. I'm going to be a little bit uh, pedantic with you. Okay. Um, just two small things. I'm a physician, so it drives me nuts. Um, first of all, uh, bones are not made of protein. They're I didn't say that. I said calcium. you did. Go back. Go back on the tape. You did. Okay. I said um, and proteins the make uh, the bones, including bones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I didn't say including bones. Completely, I you completely glossed over the whole point of mRNA, and I know that wasn't your point, but it drove me nuts. Because it's you're not making a copy, you're making an inverted copy, which is RNA, which is what goes into the cytoplasm, and that just drove me nuts. I okay, it's you not can, DNA. I don't want to go RNA. off into the weeds. I, I feel you. I, I feel you. I, know. I didn't my, go into rRNA, tRNA, none of that stuff because it's just yeah. going to lose people. Not <laughs> yeah, you notice not I didn't even talk about uracil, right? Going to lose. Well, I mean, people. that's the difference between DNA and RNA. Doesn't uh, matter. But, They're going to uh, get lost. See, I'm already lost. Yeah. So simplified, <laughs> but, super simplified. Yes. All right, so what do you, what do you, what do you have for it? important. Yeah. I agree. No, so what I really wanted to talk about was uh, kind of the moral justification of, mora of, of abortion. Cause, Why? Because I think it's an important topic. You know, morality is the algorithm that we use to decide what's right and wrong. Yeah, and, yeah but so the thing is, it's not. Well, all right. Let, let, me make one, uh, let, let me make one quick. Morality is a description of how we label right and wrong. But let me make one quick thing. Uh, if, if you thought that abortion was immoral, does that mean it should be illegal? I didn't call to talk about legality. And see, I, have, this, I am not I, here to talk about legality. I, I understand, I, Bob. Legal, legal oh, my God. Legal. legal. I, I understand that, Bob. And I'm you telling you. Question, I was and, and, it. Oh, my God. I understand that, Bob. And I'm <laughs> telling you that whether or not it's legal is the primary question that I care about. The fact that someone may view it as immoral, I couldn't give a rat's ass. My concern is whether or not it's legal. Well, so the question is, why should it be legal if it's immoral? Okay. My question so is, why should it be legislated? I will grant you. I, well, so I, and, I, and I'll grant you that there are legal things that are, there, that are immoral. Our administration is a good example of that. And there are uh, illegal things that are moral, like the example that you gave. So I, th those are two dichotomous but, but things. But the question you asked. It's important to have a good foundation of why the quest, you the, say. Bob. The question you just asked, I agree. There are legal things that are immoral. There are, Im or there are moral things that are illegal. Um, but you asked, why should it be legal? Okay, everything. I didn't ask why should it be legal. You asked why should it. Oh, just now, just now. That God was... damn, can I finish my sentence, Bob? You asked, why should it be legal if it's immoral? And the question is wrong. Everything is legal until there's a reason to make it illegal. And so if the, if the so, claim is it is immoral and that is why we should make it illegal, I would point out that A, we don't merely legislate on the foundation of morality, and B, I don't think it's immoral. And now we can get to your point, the one reason you called. I agree 100%, I, I agree 100 with what you're saying. I'm, I'm, like I said, I wasn't here to debate the legality of abortion. That's what society has deemed acceptable and, and unacceptable, what you must and must not do. That's not what I called for. I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer. Um, but I do think that it's important to have a good foundation for you do make a claim that abortion is, is moral. You no. do make that claim. No, I, my, my claim, which I literally just made right before you start talking okay. again, was that I do not believe that abortion is immoral. Okay, that's a valid point. Why do you not believe that abortion is immoral? Because so I, I, I don't want to make a straw man or argument. So I want to know what you, feel, what, what you believe and why. Because nobody has made a compelling case for why abortion could, should be considered immoral. And I have plenty of compelling cases where the act of an abortion, abortion is the termination of a uh, non-viable pregnancy. Okay. It's a termination of a fetus. It's a termination of a fetus. It's a termination uh, of a pregnancy. No, because a delivery... It is the termination of a, a pregnancy that happens to primarily result in the destruction of a fetus. But it is the term, I would pregnancy, it, ter, abortion is the termination of a pregnancy. So is delivery. No, no, yes, that's why I said abortion yes. is the termination so of a non-viable pregnancy, and the termination of a viable pregnancy is a delivery, or a C-section, which counts as a delivery. Wait, it's type of delivery. And I would agree with that. And if, if you were delivering a fetus with a realization that it, it could die of its own, I wouldn't have necessarily the problem. And that's kind of where I would say that the, per, the procedure and the morality is different. So the, I trained in, I'm, I'm a physician, and when I trained, I'm not an OB, but 20 years ago I did do OB as part of medical school. At that time, 
the abortion procedure is what's called a DNC, right. uh, dilatation and coterage. Now it's more of a DNE, a dilatation and evacuation. Both of those necessarily result in the termination of the fetus. Correct. Which may or which may or may not be viable. Statistically, it may be improbable. But uh, and again, where this came from for me? No, 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 no. So, so where this came from for me is, like I said, about 20 years ago, I was a med student, did OB. Um, within about a week of each other, performed first assist uh, on two procedures. One was a DNC on a woman who had a 19-week fetus. The second was an emergency C-section in a woman that was dated to have a 22-week fetus. Actually, I know that 22-week fetus because I did peds the next month and actually kept up with the family. She's still alive, has some disabilities, but for, but for being 23 weeks is amazing. Um, but my point is, I, when you look at the level of development between the two, and I saw them, they are indistinguishable. And so our ability to necessarily detect viability is rough at best. Yes. And, it's rough and, and, at best. So, and so, Bob, so, Bob, no, okay, Bob, would you let Bob, me finish? No, <laughs> no, Bob, because we have two or three minutes left in the show and you're going about things that are irrelevant. Because let's imagine that you wake up and you've been kidnapped and hooked up. Yes, bad example. Oh, can, I, can I get, yes, you're the Tomlinson... Uh, violinist example. Yeah, Judith Jarvis so Thompson. Let me let, let me modify. It. Let me so let's jump to it. Let me modify. Is it more so? Is it acceptable? Your question is: Can you disconnect the IV? My argument would be that a DNC or DNE is not disconnecting the IV. It's taking a hacksaw and chopping off the arm. No. So okay. Now now you're talking about yes. the process versus the act, and that yes, that is yes. Jesus. If you disconnect, because if you disconnect from the violinist, the violinist will die. That is written into the scenario. Yes. You're, you are trying to talk about whether or not it's a more gruesome death. No, and, and nothing no, is yes, gruesome. Yes, yes you, Bob, 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 no, Bob, Matt, shut Matt, up. Matt, it's active. Shut up, Bob. Listen to me. You're wrong, Matt. Shut up, Bob, and listen to me. You just made the distinction between disconnecting and hacking someone's arm off. That is about yes. the process and what, that, that may be a, the case. It may be the case that a particular process that we use for abortion may be less moral or morally inferior to another one, and that still has no bearing on whether or not an abortion is moral or immoral. Yeah, so if you are to allow a DNC or a DNE, when an option can be to, to attempt to deliver via C-section and then attempt resuscitation, if they die, they die, they don't, they don't, right? That would not be an abortion. That would be a delivery. That's nuts. I'm sorry. No, it's not nuts. That's, no, at, at the no. end of the day. Matt, yeah, Matt let me ask the, you a question. No. Let me ask you a question. No. If you're falling no. from a building and you get shot in the head. No, Bob. And you've been murdered. No, this, Bob. I'm, okay. This is really frustrating because there are two men debating this. I'm sorry. This is. No, I'd love to is, hear from you, Claire. Claire, let me hear from you. you I'm getting applause of a, of a, because I. I, I, Matt, I don't, actually, I completely disagree. I, you Having have a debated violent, this before, I'm it's sure. an everybody issue. I'm sure. I get I that. I agree, but she's, 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 she's a woman, and you and I both got penises. There you go. So, no, it's you know, not, it doesn't disqualify you. I just, I'm not getting an award edgewise. Well. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Which so has nothing to do with the is, fact that we're men, but go ahead. Oh, yeah. 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 So my, right. my question, my question <laughs> is, so, in, if, so if, 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 like I said, an abortion necessarily results in the termination of the fetus. It necessarily results in it. And the way it's performed is to necessarily result in that termination. Like I said, it's a DNC and or DNC, those the, are your options. It kills the fetus the, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the fetus is actively killed, not by the mm -hmm. removal from the, from mm -hmm. the placenta, not from the removal from the uterus. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is being actively killed actually prior to- Do being you know why, removed. Bob? Now, as, as a physician, do you know why? Yes. Because that's, that's less traumatic for the woman. The, yes. That is the easiest way to do it. Yes, because it is less it. traumatic for the woman. And what is wrong with that? And so being, being, being less traumatic for, exactly. So the question becomes, what is wrong with that? If you're falling off a building and you get shot in the head, have you been murdered? Yes. Yes. So, you know, the fact is that the method matters. You're talking about active versus passive. And we're talking the method about method. This is the thing you're overlooking, Bob. The method matters because at, the, at most you're talking about two individuals with potential rights. 
Yeah. But you may, so you, you may, you, you may, Bob, only be talking about one individual with rights that we have concerned about. I agree 100%. And, and as I a physician, as a, I, I oh my God, as a physician, do no harm. So knowing that the fetus is almost certainly going to die under any circumstance, you take the method that results in the least amount of harm for the woman, period. That makes it the most moral action you can do. I disagree. And here's why. Here's why. Wait, I just put him on hold. You, you can go. I, I disagree that abortion is immoral. I think abortion can be moral. I, can, I think it can be the most moral thing you can do. That was my point. Right. So this whole argument to me is missing the point entirely. You're worried about how the fetus is, is ejected or whatever. I, the bodily autonomy argument is all that matters. I, you cannot require me to give a kidney to somebody who needs it. That's illegal. You couldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. How can you require me less painful to you he doesn't even know he's on hold what's less painful to me well to, i'm on to, hold now to have the 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 i said um, it a while ago when you were talking to have a, a dnc versus a, a c-section is that what you're saying well, so what's less painful i'm taking an IV out or hacking it off to somebody else it may be less painful to shoot the violinist but that doesn't change the fact that you are affecting another. Now, if you, if you don't believe that the fetus has uh, human rights, is a, is, it is, doesn't. Is, is a human, then... It doesn't. It doesn't. Then, it has no right, legal right. Then, then the argument has nothing to do with bodily autonomy. It's not a human. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. Then the argument is, when do you get human rights? And that's fine. No. If your no, 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 no. Because the fetus is not human, if your argument is that the fetus is not that's human... That's not what we argued. Bob, you are... You, Bob, your ass is on hold again because you seem to be incapable of actually listening with any distinction. We did not say the fetus is not human. We said it doesn't have rights. Now, we can, in fact, grant a fetus rights. And we do, which is why... Third trimester, third trimester abortions are exceedingly rare and require incredible hurdles to overcome because we recognize that we can't draw the distinction that you want to draw, that this isn't going to be an easy little thing here uh, of saying, oh, this is viable, this is non viable. We already recognize all that, and so we err on the side of caution incredibly, and we afford something rights despite the fact that otherwise it wouldn't have legal rights. At the end of the day, what Claire's saying, which she can say, is... Bodily rights. Bodily rights. And see, here's the thing. Having a baby, I've, I've had two. It's not just a matter of gestating and popping the thing out. It changes your body. It changes your life. It's dangerous. It can be deadly to deliver. Having a C-section is major surgery. It's not equivalent. It's, it's not okay to say that that's the way you want to go rather than aborting. That is just nuts. You're off hold. Am I off hold? Yep. I'm off hold. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, um, so a couple of things. So first of all, I agree with you. If you're not going to grant the fetus human rights, then honestly, bodily autonomy is a moot point. So It's not uh, moot. There's still a person. A Jesus Christ. Damn it, Matt. Can you let me finish the sentence? <laughs> Goodbye, jackass. If, if, you, if, you can't, if you can't argue honestly, God bless America. This is one of those examples where people are like, why do you interrupt? And it's because if I let somebody talk for five minutes and I try to go back to the first mistake they made, then they get to clarify and talk for another five or ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I know. If I just said something like, hey, it doesn't have rights, and you reply with, oh, so you're saying the fetus isn't human, no, I have to interrupt no. and clarify that. Mm -hmm. And if he says, uh, and actually at, th at this point, I've heard, uh, oh, that if you don't view the fetus as uh, something with rights, then bodily autonomy doesn't matter. No, you're just wrong independent of whether or not it has rights, independent of whether or not it is considered a person by somebody else, the whole point of Judith Jarvis Thomas's violinist argument is that here's clearly a person. This person. An adult. A person having something growing inside of them that can become another person. No, that's the other one. No, I know, but it's. The, the point of the violinist person, argument. If I'm hooked up to Claire. I don't, yeah. She's a person who has rights, and yet I have every right to remove myself from that situation. Absolutely. If you say that I don't have the right, or that she doesn't have the right, to remove herself from a fetus, you're not granting a fetus 
human rights, you're granting a fetus special rights. Yep. You are giving a fetus more rights than you are a person. Mm -hmm. And so even if you want to say the fetus doesn't have rights, that doesn't remove the issue of bodily autonomy because there's still a foreign invader inside of the woman mm -hmm. that someone is trying to grant special rights above mm -hmm. and beyond. They are valuing the rights that they are imbuing this fetus with more than they are valuing the rights and health and welfare of a living, breathing woman. Woman, specifically woman. I think if men got pregnant, this would not be an issue. Holy crap, it'd be at the 7-Eleven. Yes, be a freaking thing you could buy next to your Slurpee. Yeah, totally drunk last week and some chick knocked me up and now I've got to go, yes, give me a Slurpee and plan D. Yeah, we, or we don't want to be on. daddy. Yeah, anti-daddy.